Here's how we multiply and divide with scientific notation. Okay? Here are two numbers written in scientific notation, and each of them have two parts. This thing that we can call the mantissa or the coefficient, and this 10 raised to a power, we can just call the power. So whenever we do a multiplication division problem, we break this into two smaller problems. The first thing that I want to do is I want to multiply the coefficients together. So I'm going to do 2.12, that's that, times 3.58. And the answer there is going to be 7.59. I'm just going to round all these to three digits. Um, but after you look at the significant, uh, the, the significant figures videos, um, you'll learn how to do the exact rounding. Okay, so coefficients multiplied together, we get 7.59. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to take these tens raised to the power and multiply them together. So we do 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth. When we multiply powers of 10 together, we add the exponents. So this equals 10 to the 3 plus 4, or we can say equals 10 to the 7th. So the answer here is 7.59 from the first half times 10 to the 7th. And that's our answer for this problem. We use this exact same process when we're doing division, except for one difference, and that's that we subtract the exponents. Okay? Here's a division problem. Again, we break it into two smaller problems. So the first thing is 9.72 divided by 3.19. And that gives me 3.04. OK, that's the first part. The second part, 10 to the 12th divided by 10 to the 6th equals 10 to the 12 minus 6, because it's division. We subtract the exponents. So I'm going to get. 10 to the 6th. So our final answer here is 3.04 times 10 to the 6th. This is relatively straightforward. Sometimes it gets a little bit trickier when the number that we get is bigger, or sm bigger, than, bigger than 10 or smaller than 1. Let me show you what I mean. Here's an example where we do 6.11 times 9.11. 5, 3, and that's going to give us 58.2 for this part. And then 10 to the third times 10 to the seventh, which equals, because it's multiplication, we add 10 to the 3 plus 7 equals 10 to the tenth. So we can write this as 58.2 times 10 to the tenth. But remember, scientific notation is always written a certain way. We always want to have only one digit to the left of the decimal point, and then the decimal point, and then everything else. Here we have two numbers to the left of the decimal point, so it's not written as correct scientific notation. What I want to do is I want to take this and I want to change it to correct scientific notation. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take this decimal place and move it over to the left one space. Now, Think about the rules that we talked about earlier for what happens when we move a decimal place left or when we move it right. When we move it to the left, the power of 10 increases. So since we moved it to the left by 1, we'll go from 10 to the 10th up to 10 to the 11th. So our new answer, expressed in correct scientific notation, will be 5.82 times 10 to the 11th, because we moved this decimal place over 1, and the number here gets bigger. Okay. One more example here, a division one. This is also going to have an answer that we're going to have to revise into correct scientific notation. So the first part of the problem will be 2.34 divided by 8.78. And when I do that, I'm going to get 0 0.267. Right away, we can look at that and say that's not going to be in correct scientific notation. So 10 to the fifth now divided by 10 to the eighth is going to equal 10 to the, because it's division, 5 minus 8, which is going to give us 10 to the negative third. So we can originally, preliminarily, write this as 0 0.267 times 10 to the negative third. 
but now I want to get it into correct scientific notation. So I'm going to move the decimal place to the right one spot. Now here, when we move the decimal to the right, the power of 10 gets smaller. So I'm going to go from 10 to the third, down lower to 10 to the fourth. So expressed in correct scientific notation is going to be 2.67 times 10 to the negative fourth. That's my final answer, and that's how we do multiplication and division with scientific notation.